What up players, it's Wolboss Tay up in this mug. I've had this box of Empire Flagellants for a long time and I've never unboxed it till now, so I thought I would. So the Empire Flagellants, you get uh, 10 figures that you can build up, 10 complete figures. You have two sets of identical sprues, a large sprue and a small sprue. So what I'm gonna do is take you through each one and just want you to know that you <coughs> are gonna have duplicates. Um, but still, there's enough of a variety that you can mix and match everything and have a lot of bits left over. So here's the first one. Let's take a look at it. You've got a figure here and um, flails. You'll notice lots of flails, mace on this side, a skull on a chain two flails over here, and this is a pretty cool bit, I think, the double-handed sickle with the, um, with the twin-tailed comet behind it. You might see this bit a lot, it's the back banner, and here's another two-handed bit. And you get lots of uh, weird little doodads, like bones on chains, or a hammer on a hook, or a two-headed comet on a, on a, on a chain a key, a hourglass, and a noose that you can put around one of your guys' necks if you want. They're also numbered so that you know which arms go with which weapon, five and five. So whichever guy you want to use it on, if you want to use this weapon, you have to know you have to match the corresponding five so that the wrist all line up and everything. Got two heads also here. The heads are, the heads are great. Some of the heads look really, really characterful and I really, really like them. So that's the smaller sprue. I've taken the big sprue and I've broken it up into two halves just to help us out a little bit. So let's take a look at this first one. The bodies, the sculpted bodies are really, really nice. They're very, very well done and detailed. More flails, spike. Um, these are great. It's like uh, books or parchment hanging, or a book propped open. These are great too, they're like the backs of tombs that you can glue together and have large, like closed books. You have more heads here, some more flails. Some of these heads are fantastic too. There's this one that I've seen a lot with the stitches on the mouth, which is just disgusting. And this one here with the bandage wrapped around his eyes for that's a really, really good looking one. More parchment, more chains, uh, more arms that go together. Great bodies, uh, torches here, skull on a chain, and um, this one with the band around his head, like it's pressing into his eyes. That's really gross. And here's a crazy looking guy with a beard, and more chains. This last one we take a look at has yet more bodies with the robes open. Um, this looks like a scroll wrapped up with a pouch. These heads are the weirdest. There's this one guy that looks like the champion. He's got the flame coming out of his head. Who wants to set his hair on fire before a battle? Crazy. This other one, man in the iron mask, the fully enclosed metal mask around his face. Then over here, you've got more flails with the twin-tailed comet, bells, parchment. Um, <laughs> this one is totally hilarious, this guy with his head and arms in the stockade. So you put the stockade on him and you've got more hands. So you build them up and you should have all of these fellows here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep from building them up in this video because what I want to do is see if I can build or a kit bash, or boss chop shop style, a Ministorum priest for my 40k Imperial Guard arm using these bits and painting him up in, in a Ministorum priest style. The, the fact is Games Workshop doesn't have a very good uh, range for priests. They come with hand weapon and a Laz pistol, but uh, most, most people like running them with eviscerators, which is large two-handed chainswords, and the only one who has anything like that is 
uh, there are two models. One of them has a... Uh, the chainsword doesn't look like a two-handed chainsword, but uh, it's a missionary guy and he's holding a plasma gun in the other hand, so... <clears throat> I want to see if I can build something. Maybe I'll just use the, the sickle and see if I can... See what I can do, but um, that, that'll be fun. Let me know if you have any ideas on how to kit bash a Minostorm priest from these guys. But they're as a unit in the Warhammer Fantasy Empire Army. They're they're pretty good. They've got a lot of great rules that keep them in the fight. They hit hard, and they uh, look like they're gonna be willing to stick it stick it out, stick it to the end. It's because they're all crazy, buggy, baddie, baddie dudes. So thanks for watching this little unboxing and product review. I think definitely you're gonna have a lot of leftover bits for the amount of originality in the sculpts. This guy in the stockade is really like one of my favorites. And uh, for all of the detail, I definitely give this kit a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.